guys and welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be just a random little video about how I actually film my lettering as a lefty. So you guys might notice that in my videos where I just do kind of a top-down filming setup, my hand always ends up covering my writing as I go because obviously left-handed like it drags across my writing. Now I do have a method that I have used in the past to try to show my writing as I'm doing it and that is what I'm going to show you guys today. So you might also notice that this is a method that that I used to use in some of my videos and I haven't been using for a while and part of that just has to do with trying to fit YouTube around a full-time job but the other side of it is I'm not sure how much it actually helps in sync so if you guys like seeing lettering this way let me know and I can try and incorporate it in more of my videos in the future but yeah that's kind of another story so how do I film lettering as a lefty? So I just have my little lettering notebook here. This is actually a Baron Fig Confidant. This is one that I used for a Harry Potter lettering challenge back in literally 2018. It's been a minute. And I figured since I have a bunch of extra pages in here, I can go ahead and just use this to show you guys. So typically what you guys see in a lot of my more recent videos is this top down look at lettering. So let's take a look at kind of what that goes. And I'm gonna just use something very, very simple because this is kind of just a tutorial video, not actually a specific lettering video. So let's say I wanted to letter hello. This is what you guys would end up seeing because I am a lefty. Eventually I'm going to reach a point where my hand is blocking what I'm writing. And I do try as much as possible with certain types of writing to keep my hand out of the way. However, there is a point where like I just can't do anything about that. So I'm gonna show you guys what it would look like with my second setup. So with my second setup, you guys are gonna see what the lettering is gonna look like. And I'm not doing anything fancy, just kind of quick, just so you can see. So that is what it would look like with the second setup going. So now the question is, how do you make that happen? Let's take a look. So if we step back from the table and just take a look at what my setup actually looks like, unfortunately with the lighting, it's going to be a little bit weirdly shadowed, but you'll see here that I have my camera that is filming overhead and then I've got my little setup down here, whatever I end up lettering. And then over here, I use my iPad. Now, I tend to use my iPad just because it has its own little stand, whereas with my phone, I have to bring out another little tripod or what have you. And this tends to be at a pretty good angle for lettering. Now, the thing that, if you are interested in filming like this, the thing you have to be aware of is, especially if you have any kind of lighting, but also depending on how you actually set up, and of course my camera, is going off there is you're going to start getting a little bit of uh, shadow and or oops let's see where it goes so here you start getting the second camera in the frame of the first camera so you just have to kind of be careful with that but if I set it kind of back over here I can get and you guys will see this when I actually put in the part that had filming. So you guys will have seen this, but this is kind of what I see over here. And because the iPad is big enough, I can actually kind of check and make sure I'm still in frame over here. And then I usually keep this camera running so that I can flip back and forth between these two as I as I kind of need them. So as you guys can see, it does take a little bit of finagling to get the camera working. It requires having some other way of filming. So I'm able to do it because I have my actual camera. I also have my iPad that I can use for filming. Back when I didn't have this camera, I would film with my, my actual phone up at my upper angle here, and then I would use my iPad to do the side angle. And so you can kind of work it out you know, depending on what sort of equipment you have. But that is the way that I actually do film with a second angle for to show my lettering. And I have played around with some different kind of angles. And what I found is that if I use my iPad kind of down here, this gives me an angle so that you can still kind of see the writing. It is more comfortable if I do it up here, but this angle means that it looks upside down. So I've had to kind of play around with that over time. So if you're interested in doing any sort of lettering videos and you are a lefty, this is one, one way of filming your lettering so that it doesn't, you know, so you can actually see what you're writing as opposed to what you get from up here where it does eventually get covered. Now, I don't know how useful this information is if you don't actually do any sort of filming, but I figured it's something I had to kind of learn through trial and error, so I might as well share it in case there's anybody out there who would like to make use of it. So 
that is all I have for you guys for today. If you guys have any comments or questions, let me know down below. Let me know also if you'd like to see more videos with a side angle to show my lettering. I will try and work it in when I can, if so. And that's all I have. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Hey guys, so if you've made it all the way to the end of this video and are actually watching my end screen and you're not subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you would. There's a little button right there for you to do it. And if you're interested in watching some more of my videos, I have links to two of my older videos off to the left there, so you can check those out if you would like to. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.